Ever since this pandemic started, we haven't really gotten that many new South Park episodes. We've only gotten two, uh, the pandemic special and the South Park vaccination special, which in my opinion were two very funny specials. But we have some very excellent news in regards to the development of new South Park content. Trey Parker and Matt Stone are making 900 million worth of South Park. A landmark Viacom CBS deal renews the animated series for six additional seasons and 14, yes, 14 movies on Paramount. Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman are planting even deeper roots at Comedy Central. South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone have signed a $900 million deal with parent company Viacom CBS. Bloomberg reported on Thursday. The outlet categorized it as one of the richest deals in TV history. Parker and Stone will make six new seasons of South Park for Comedy Central, bringing their long-running comedy to season 30. The duo will also create a mind-boggling 14 spin-off films for the company's streaming service, Paramount+. Plus. These will be the first South Park movies since 1999's South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. The first two films in this deal will reportedly debut before the end of 2021. Two a year are scheduled through 2027, according to Deadline. This may produce a bit of a sticky streaming situation for South Park, which currently streams exclusively on HBO Max. Quote, Comedy Central has been our home for 25 years, and we're really happy that they've made a commitment to us for the next 75 years, Parker and Stone stated in a statement via Deadline. When we came to Viacom CBS with a different way to produce the show during the pandemic, Chris McCarthy, Nina Diaz, Keys Hill, Edgar, and Tanya Gillis were immediately supportive and enabled us to try something new that turned out to be really well received. We can't wait to get back to doing traditional South Park episodes, but now we can also try out new formats. It's great to have partners who will always take a chance with us. The animated series premiered in 1997 and became Comedy Central's best rated show in its first season. Parker and Stone have always been able to maintain its dominance, creating the top cable telecast of 2021 with their South Park vaccination special. Matt and Trey are world-class creatives who brilliantly use their outrageous humor to skewer the absurdities of our culture and we are excited to expand and deepen our long relationship with them to help fuel Paramount Plus and Comedy Central. Chris McCarthy, president slash CEO of MTV Entertainment and CCO slash adult animation Paramount Plus said in a statement to Deadline. Obviously, this is great news if you are somebody like myself who enjoys South Park a lot. What's interesting about South Park more than anything else is the fact that Trey and Matt are able to produce episodes at lightning speed. For those of you who are unaware, it only takes the crew of South Park a week to develop one episode but they have to work overtime to do it. That's what allows them to stay up to date and reference current events that are going on. And that sort of formula translates well into uh, satirizing pop culture, which is what Matt and Trey for the most part have done effectively for the past 20 years. My only concern is will Matt and Trey get burnt out because 14 movies two per year through 2027 is a lot and I feel like they might get burned out but at the same time they haven't really made as many episodes because of the pandemic so maybe they have so many ideas to bounce off of that 14 movies will be easy for them to do and I'm really interested to see the creative direction in which they take these movies? Do they bring in new characters or do they expand upon some background characters like Heidi or Token or Butters? I would be really interested to see. Ultimately, this deal shows the dominance that streaming services have gained within the last few years. This sort of deal is untraditional to say the least because it's a lot of money for one intellectual property. But that intellectual property, South Park, will drive many people who aren't already subscribed to Paramount Plus to subscribe for this exclusive content. If you're somebody who enjoys South Park and you haven't gone Paramount Plus at this point, they say that by the end of this year, they're going to release two movies 
So if that's not an incentive to get Paramount Plus, I don't know what is. So I'm super excited to see what Matt and Trey produce with this deal. And it is honestly more than deserved. For those of you who are new to Small Room Report, if you found this video entertaining or informative, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more great content. All the platforms I have are in the description of this segment. Have a great day.